And we are back. I'm Ben on the Stinks. <laughs> I'm Nate on the Bones. We're chilling playing Super Mario 64. Um, well, we were just discussing uh, off air whether or not. So we got the hat back. That We had a problem where we didn't have our hat, but we got our hat back through maybe not so honorable means. Yeah. We we game overed unintentionally, and we got our hat back. So, so our, our shame is covered, but yeah. our honor is still lost. Right. Um, I'm gonna say fuck honor. <laughs> fuck that vulture. Fuck shifting sand land. We're moving on to the elevator at the moment. Fuck all of that. Sounds good. That's my that's my two cents. So this this fucking Nintendo like waggle tech precursor bullshit mechanic machine is how we get eight <laughs> red coins. <laughs> I have to physically, you know, hit the buttons to change direction. The DDR and pad before DDR, dude. I think DDR was out by... Well, maybe not. By the time this came out, I don't know. But... The camera is ass. The controls are ass. Let's do it up. You gotta get all red coins this way? Pretty sure. It's fucked up. It's fucked up, dude. Yeah, it, it is really fucked up. So I have two. Yeah, because the star's right here, so they're all in here. I think it just reverts back to the start. How come there's grass in here? There's any fucking sun. It's like... It's dookie Dookie grass. mold. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say. <laughs> it's all dookie down here, dude. I was thinking earlier when Mario isn't in the Mushroom Kingdom, he's probably just like plunging toilets all day. Have you ever seen the Super Mario Brothers Super Show? <laughs> no. Um, it's like a weird amalgamation of live action Mario and Luigi like broke as fuck in Brooklyn and they're plumbers or something. And um, and th and then there's like cartoon segments where. It's like Super Mario Brothers three stuff. It's okay. it's a, it's a weird show, dude. Um, we had a couple VHS tapes of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show when I was a kid, but I I've never seen all of them or anything. I remember it was like a Christmas episode, and Mario and Luigi were so fucking poor in the live action portion of the show that they mm -hmm. literally split a single bean for Christmas dinner. <laughs> it was like at the time it didn't seem that fucked up but that's fucked up i was just thinking like is he like yeah because like what kind of plumber is he like is he pl unplugging toilets or is he like a master pipe fitter or something but i think, I think the he's... lore is he's poor as fuck yeah well that lore is i don't think main mario lore is mario being broke as fuck in brooklyn with luigi and they split a heinz bean for christmas <laughs> i don't know i mean maybe that's why he wants to spend all his time in the mushroom kingdom you mean like as in the mushroom kingdom is like taking drugs or something well that's a whole different discussion maybe but i'm th i'm just saying it it's escapism regardless if he's actually going to the Mushroom Kingdom or if he's just really high, but... I think in the context of super, super poor Mario... Oh, fuck yeah, I'm so glad that's over. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, super poor ass Mario... Yeah, he's taking drugs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, power stars and mushrooms are different things in Brooklyn, let me tell you. 
<laughs> Back in the juice. <laughs> oh, see, we can't do that one yet. So we have to activate Metalhead Mario. And honestly, I'm actually surprised right now. I cannot remember where Metalhead Mario Switch is. I don't either. It's down here somewhere. Can I get in here yet? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we have 37 stars. We could, we could fight second Bowser, but I'm not feeling that right now. Not because I'm not feeling it, but we got to save it. We got to get Metalhead Mario. It might be an offshoot of that level we were just in. I almost want to say so because, like, you go through the weird, oily metal jankum to go into the level. <laughs> it makes sense that he's covered in that when he's metal marked. The, the j what? What is that? The jankum? Yeah, dude. I like that word. You know what jankum is? No. It's like a thing they had on the news a while ago. It was like, um... It was like a fear propaganda thing or whatever that kids were huffing jankum and it by uh, pooping into jars. Oh, is it? It's the poop. It's the poop thing. Yeah, and then they oh, put okay. the balloon on it and let it yeah. ferment and then huff it or something. I mean, why would anyone ever do that? Right? <laughs> I don't think anybody ever did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, somebody did. So, like, one person did, and it became a news story. Yeah. Jankum. What What was the word they used? Poop? Poop? Uh, butt hash. Butt hash. Butt hash. What is this? Oh, yeah. I, I think we get to the metal cave via the... Uh, Nessie monster. This is something different, though. Oh, we're down here. Fuck this shit. This is one of the biggest levels, actually. Yeah, it's got, like, um, multiple, uh, areas. It's not just, like, one condensed area. Mm-hmm. The rocks here, they actually follow you. Like, it'll bounce off the wall specifically to hit you. I always found that Damn. interesting. It must be a type of thwomp. Um, you're right. That Those boulders are definitely in the thwomp family. Any sort of semi-sentient rock or um, metal like crushing entity, definitely thwomp family. Mm -hmm. Where's my fucking friend at? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Did you know you could steer it? No. The way you're looking steers it. Huh. I think I'm trying to get to those double doors. It's hard, though. And you, like, break its back. <laughs> wow. I never knew that you could steer that, and I don't think I did as a kid either. I think I just stood on that thing's back, pissed, until it finally ended up where I wanted to go because I was probably looking at the door. Mm -hmm. Here we are, dude. Gotta hit the button, dude. There's eight red coins in this level, too. That's fucked up. Oh, shit. I gotta get up there before the shit runs out. All right. Damn. That big button's calling my name, dude. <laughs> it's that life. I should get the coins while I'm here. Yep. 
Metal Man Mario. Yeah, I should get the coins while I'm here. I don't know where they are. They're down below. Oh, yeah. Easy star, dude. Hell, yeah. Two birds, one stone. I like to say love two birds with one hug. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, the phrase is pretty fucked up. Killing two birds. All right, now we can do whatever this one is. Yeah. Metalhead Mario. We don't need to get this. I'm just doing it for fun. I think we still have to go down to the, the Nessie chamber. Damn it. <laughs> I always go that way. Is he any slower when he's got the metal cap on? No, but something's different. I can't remember what. That's the wrong elevator. It's all right. <laughs> It's fine, though. I wonder how much that would take away if I didn't have my hat. You think it would take six? You think it would take the full double? The full the full double-double? In and out? <laughs> Animal style, dude. <laughs> uh, I think I missed what I needed. It's up here. I gotta follow this path. There's something down there I gotta get. There's always the, like, min-max timing strat where you want the hat to land perfectly on Mario's head so you don't have the animation of him putting the hat on. Really? If you, if you hit it right, it just lands on his head. Metalhead, Metalhead Mario can Merv. Navigating the toxic maze. Yeah, uh, it's Jacob. Yeah, it is. I'm trying to remember where the toxic maze is. There is a, there is a map. There's a map right here. I guess we're there? We're here? Um, It'd be sick if it moved the arrow to where you needed to go. It's N64, dude. <laughs> I think that's the maze. This, like, jank-ass part. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go this way? I think this actually is the way this time. <laughs> Dude. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Ghost Disapp of Toad just chilling back there. Yeah, I was just saying disappearing toad. <laughs> I think Bowser killed all the toads, dude, and they're just they're haunting the place. I think he like he like fused them with the phantom painting worlds, so they like phase in and out of existence. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What's in here? Dude, the painting worlds are tight. I always like the a, paintings. As opposed to the worlds that aren't in paintings? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like any other Mario game that doesn't use paintings. Okay. Okay. I'm into the paintings as entrances to the levels and as, like, some sort of lore point for the fucking castle. 
it's pretty cool. This is the most in-depth view of the castle we ever get. Because the game, you know, relies on the castle for a hub world and the paintings to transition to the levels. Yeah. That never happens again. We do see Peach's castle later, and it does allude that this is like like the canon version of the castle, you know? But it's never the same, and you pretty much only see the main, um, the main, like, hall, if anything. Hmm. You ne you, like, you never see the basement, you know? You never see the boo garden or whatever. Yeah. You only see the main hall, if anything, and it's, it's way more bare bones. I don't know. I just like Pe Peach's Castle as, as the, as the hub. Yeah, for sure. It's I'm weird because sure it feels like, is... um, I was, I was, it feels like you've seen there, you've gone into Peach's Castle in other Mario games, but like you're right, like you never do. Yeah, and if you do, because you do in like one or two, it's just that main hall area. Yeah. So I got a different star just now. That was the wrong star for the maze. There's two maze stars. My fondest memory of Metal Mario is fighting Metal Mario in Super Smash, OG Smash. Oh, the computer? Yeah, because you, like, you, he doesn't get, like, the momentum the other characters do, you know? You mm -hmm. have to, like, really rack up that percentage damage to, like, launch him. I liked that mechanic a lot. I still say that the latest Smash Ultimate is, like, just in terms of what Smash is, it's the best. Because it's got so many characters, so many stages, so much music. Um, but I 100% have the most fond memories with the original Smash. And particularly, like, the mini games and the different creative ways they use the computer. Because you couldn't play Metal Mario, but all of a sudden, no. like, you have to fight them. And it's like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I love Break the Targets and uh, Board the Platforms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I felt like a badass doing the break the targets with Link, shooting his bow. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. Link didn't have a bow in the first game. Boomer. Yeah, the boomerang. And you, and there was, like, you could curve it, you know? Yeah. You could curve it up or down. That was essential for beating his levels. God damn it. I just slid down the slide into here. All right, hold on. There's a map. Maybe we should look at the map. Come in there. Uh, up and right. I don't think I explored that yet. <laughs> he says, don't. <laughs> Do you think that yellow stuff is just Monty Mole farts? Yes. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like denser than oxygen so it sits <laughs> lower on the floor yeah <laughs> alright so I gotta quit fiddle fucking around dude one of these fucking things is like the answer and I've already this is the blank one one of them took us to that other star That's a trap. Is this a trap, though? No, this is it. We did it, dude. Nice. We did it! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I always I do thought... the really high jump too. <laughs> yeah, I like the side the side jump. Hmm. 
All right, so I thought that one was going to give us more trouble than Shifting Sandland. Well, I can see Shifting Sandland being the hardest. Cool, cool mountain. We still have some... Still got some slack on Cool, Cool Mountain, but... I mean, fuck. We're going to have to do it next time on Game Ghouls, dude. Next time. Yo. Peace. Peace.